Thank you all for joining us today. If you are watching this on October 12th at 4 p.m., this is a pre-recorded video content playing over a live chat. So if you are here today, we would encourage you to chat with us and inter interact with our financial aid colleagues and the International Education Office in the chat. There will be a few minutes at the end of the presentation for final question wrap up. However, when the video ends, the presentation will stop and you'll no longer be able to put in questions. So once the video ends, we encourage you to put final questions in quickly. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Alexis. Awesome. Well, greetings, everyone, and thank you for sharing your time with us today. In this session, we will discuss how eligible students can use UCLA financial aid resources for study abroad programs. Great. So today, the information that I'm going to discuss will be UC or UCLA specific, but for the most but for most of the information, um, it will be applicable whether you're applying to us or to other schools. So who can apply? Financial aid can be extended to eligible entering and continuing undergraduate UCLA students who are attending either a UCEAP program or UCLA study abroad program. Graduate students can also receive aid, but only if the program is required to complete the graduate degree. When it comes to application deadlines, it is important to first know which application to complete. For students who are considered a citizen or a permanent resident, you should complete the FAFSA, also known as the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. The FAFSA will be used to determine eligibility for federal, state, and institutional aid. For students who are not considered a US citizen or permanent resident, but you've graduated from a California high school, then you should file the California DREAM Act application. The DREAM Act will be used to determine your state and institutional aid eligibility. The FAFSA can be completed at studentaid.gov. And to complete the DREAM application, please visit dream.csac.ca.gov. Both applications will open this upcoming December, 2023. We strongly encourage that every student complete their application by the March 2nd priority deadline because missing this deadline can cause you to miss out on thousands of dollars of aid. As mentioned, you're gonna to wanna to submit the 2425 FAFSA or DREAM Act application by March 2nd. Um, students who submit their FAFSAs late will not be considered for institutional aid, such as grants. Um, you must submit a 2024 summer travel study and global internships financial aid application by March 22nd, 2024. The application will become available March 1st on My UCLA under the Finances and Jobs tab. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to look for financial aid, summer financial aid applications. Financial aid is only available for one summer program. Um, for example, if a student is attending travel study and summer session C, our office will only provide aid for, for the travel study program and not for the summer session C. This here is an example of our application portal. Um, if you are a UCLA student who will enroll in summer sessions at UCLA or um, another UC, you must submit an application on myucla.edu. And again, you're gonna look for the finances and jobs tab, and then you're gonna click summer financial aid information. The summer travel and global internships application will open March 1st, 2024. And this here is an example of our confirmation email that's gonna be sent out once you've completed your summer travel or global internships application. Um, you're gonna to wanna to just save this for your records to indicate that your application has been submitted. So how is aid processed? To complete the financial aid process, um, additional information may be requested in order to complete your file. This may include parent and or student tax transcripts, dependent or independent verification forms, or proof of non-filing status. 
The request for additional documentation is on your MyUCLA and it can be found under the Finances and Jobs tab and by looking for document tracking. All supporting documentation must be submitted um, in order for us to determine both your summer and academic award eligibility. If you're attending summer, the priority deadline for documentation is April 7th, 2024. Alrighty, so this is just a breakdown of the types of aid available for summer, and this is based on the 2023-2024 summer estimates as the 2024-2025 um, award estimates are not available yet. So um, the types of aid available include the Pell Grant, University Grant, and loans. The Pell Grant, um, since the FAFSA process is changing, um, we will be able to provide additional information regarding eligibility um, as soon as we receive it. So continue to monitor our website for additional information related to the Pell Grant. Um, as it relates to the university grant, it is um, also based on the number of units that you're enrolled in and your financial need. The estimates provided are again for the 23-24 academic year. These amounts are subject to change for 2025, 2024, 2025. Also, the loans that may be offered for the summer include the direct subsidized loan, the direct unsubsidized loan, the parent plus loan, and private loans. Students will first be awarded for the academic year. And if you have remaining student loan eligibility after being awarded for the academic year, you will have student loans offered to you for the summertime. You may also opt to move some of your loan eligibility over from the academic year to the summer, um, but please note doing this will reduce your academic year loan eligibility. Alrighty, now we have an example of how summer awarding works. So John submitted the FAFSA by March 2nd and the summer travel financial aid application by March 22nd. His expected family contribution is $4,500. He plans on attending the Global Studies Tokyo program from July 7th to August 2nd, 2023, excuse me, 2024. He will enroll in the required units, which is 10 units for this program. The total cost of attendance for the program is $11,461. So looking at the breakdown of the cost of attendance or the program budget, the program fee is listed as $7,600. This is the number that's gonna be posted to your summer Bruin bill. And then also within the budget, we have some additional expenses um, that come up to $3,861. These may be personal expenses, airfare, textbooks, meals, and spending money. And the total cost again comes up to $11,461. When looking at the estimated financial aid package for 10 units based on the program, John is gonna be eligible for $2,250 in university grant funding. Based on his EFC, um, he's gonna be eligible for the Pell Grant for $737. And his remaining cost of attendance will be met with loans for $8,474 for a total aid package of $11,461, which is up to the program's cost of attendance. It's also important to note here that if you are a dependent student, you'll be offered the Parent PLUS loan up to your cost of attendance um, for your loan option. And if you are an independent student, you will be offered some unsubsidized loan funds and um, a private loan to meet your cost of attendance. All right, so as it relates to unit changes, if you are enrolling in the additional or optional courses, 199 or 19, you will not be initially awarded financial aid based off of those optional course units. Um, if you receive a passing grade for the additional units, your aid will be adjusted at the end of the summer once confirmation has been received. 
So once we receive your grades, we'll be able to go in and update your financial aid eligibility based off of passing those um, additional units. However, if your units are decreased from the original amount, you are subject to receiving a bill for the summer. Summer financial aid notices. Um, so awarding will begin mid-May and we'll begin to send out the financial aid award notice or fans um, mid-May, early July, excuse me, early June. Please review and follow the instructions on your fan. The first time loan borrowers must complete the master promissory note and loan debt management sessions before loans can be dispersed. And uh, you can find more information on how to complete those steps on our website as well. And if you are offered a Parent PLUS loan, you must accept the Parent PLUS loan on the financial aid notification, and your parent must complete the Parent PLUS loan application and credit check on studentaid.gov. Parents must complete a master promissory note if this is their first time borrowing a PLUS loan as well. You must accept all loans before, all loans that you're wanting to accept before your program ends. If you try to apply for loans after you return from your studies, the loans will never disperse. And unfortunately, we aren't able to make any exceptions there. When it comes to private loans, um, please be aware that it can take more than two weeks to process. If you're offered a private loan on your FAN and wish to borrow it, please take action immediately. You will need to first find a private loan lender, whether it's Wells Fargo, uh, Sally Mae, SunTrust, et cetera. Um, we have a lender list available on our website as well to kind of help you find uh, the perfect lender for you. And you're going to want to apply for that private loan based on the terms and conditions that they offer. You can visit the UC preferred lender list, as I mentioned, in order to uh, find a lender. Once you have applied and have been approved, usually you will need a co-signer. So keep that in mind when you're um, looking for private loans. The lender will then notify our office to verify your enrollment. This information is then sent back to the lender for disbursement processing. Lenders will have a 10-day holding period on the funds before UCLA can receive the private loan money. So that's why we ask that you take action immediately if you are looking to borrow any type of private loan funding. All right, so enrolling in summer travel and session C. So on the Bruin bill, you will have fees posted for both summer travel and summer session C. Once your travel aid, excuse me, once your travel study financial aid disperses, the aid will automatically be applied to your total balance on the Bruin bill. This means that if you've accepted all of your summer travel financial aid, including loans, then your refund will be a lot less because a portion of your refund is being applied to cover those summer session C courses. Um, remember, again, we can only fund you for one summer program. If you plan to participate in summer travel and attend summer session C, then your summer travel refund may be less than expected. And again, that's because a portion of those funds are being applied to your summer session C costs. Alrighty, so now I would like to introduce Wilsey Liu from the International Education Office to share with you some information regarding study abroad scholarship opportunities. Thanks, Alexis. Hello, everyone. So, so far in this presentation, Alexis has talked about two ways for you to fund your study abroad programs, loans and grants. But there is a third way and that is, is scholarships. And there are quite a few scholarships available for study abroad. Some are merit-based, a lot of them are need-based scholarships. And if you visit our website at io.ucla.edu slash scholarships, you're going to see that we have already organized them according to which program you are participating in. So if you are going abroad with travel study, you can just click the tab 
uh, on travel study and you're going to see all the scholarships that apply to that program. Same thing with UCAP and global, uh, the UCLA Global Internship Program. Now, there are other scholarships as well uh, that are listed on that page. And I would like to um, call your attention to two of them. They are national scholarships. And we have done a special recording on each one of them. So there is a webinar recorded on the Gilman Scholarship and another one on the Boren Scholarship. And the Gilman Scholarship is for students who are receiving the federal Pell Grant. So if you are a Pell Grant recipient, the Gilman Scholarship offers up to $5,000 to cover your study abroad experience. And they also have some other um, awards if you decide to study a language or if you are doing a STEM research during the time of your study abroad program. So I would strongly advise you to watch those uh, two webinars. The Boren Scholarship is for people who are interested in public service. So if you are interested in working for the federal government, that is an amazing opportunity. But um, the Gilman Scholarship is a little more flexible in terms of what kind of program you're participating in and location. Now, um, the Gilman, is, as I said, is only for Pell Grant recipients. The Boren is for US citizens. So take a look at those two scholarships. Also on our website, you will find scholarships that have already been um, divided by region or country. And we also have a directory that you can do search on different scholarships. Now, I we also have recorded a webinar on study abroad scholarships. And that is a very comprehensive uh, webinar that will help you um, with online search. There are all kinds of scholarships online as well for study abroad. And we bring about a, a few options for you to apply to. Uh, and we also go through the UCLA scholarship portal, how you apply. And we take a look at the IO scholarship website, the, the page, but we also take a look at the portal. So those are resources for you to take a look to if you're interested in learning more about scholarships to help you fund your study abroad program. And now I will hand it over to Alejandra. Thank you, Wilsey. Um, another way you can fund your study abroad program is through veterans benefits. They can also be applied to most of the um, study abroad programs if you qualify. You can visit the UCLA Registrar's website at registrar.ucla.edu or our study abroad website at ieo.ucla.edu forward slash finances slash veteran dash benefit to get information about what is available for your study abroad program. Most common types of veteran benefits that apply are the CalVet college fee waiver that are for dependents only, the chapter 33 post 9-11 GI bill for veterans and dependents and the chapter 31 vocational rehabilitation for veterans only. If you're planning to use your veterans benefits for study abroad, please make sure to contact the UCLA veteran coordinator at benefit at registrar.ucla.edu. It is critical that you inform the financial aid office as early as possible about your upcoming veteran funding so that they can properly adjust your financial aid offerings. And I'll hand it back to Alexis. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alejandra. And now we have some frequently asked questions. So will summer aid affect the academic year? If you attend summer school or any summer program, we will award you for the academic year first. Summer grants will not reduce the amount of grants that you're receiving for the academic year. Another question that we typically get is, when will financial aid post to my Bruin Bill account? Financial aid should disperse five to 10 days before your program start date. However, if you are on an early program, the earliest that we can disperse aid is going to be June 
13, 2024. It is highly recommended that you sign up for Bruin Direct to receive your refund as soon as possible. And so you can avoid um, having to be mailed, <clears throat> excuse me, a refund check um, while you're away studying abroad. Does financial aid pay for my airfare? I need to buy my ticket now. This is a very common question and there is no financial aid advance for airfare or travel expenses. If you accept all of your financial aid for the summer, including all loans offered, you can then reimburse yourself for the airfare expenses that you incurred prior to financial aid dispersing. Another frequently asked question that we receive, what if I wanna cancel the program? For global internships after 11.59 p.m. on February 14th, 2024, you are responsible for the full program fee. If you decide to cancel after February 14th, please contact Travel Study Office and the Financial Aid Office um, so that we can review your account. For Travel Study, after 11.59 p.m. on April 5th, 2024, you are responsible for the full program fee. And if you decide to cancel ap after April 5th, Again, please contact the Travel Study Office and the Financial Aid Office as well so that we can accurately update your account. One of the last frequently asked questions that our office receives is, can I get, excuse me, can I know my award letter? Can I know what my award letter will look like now? Can I get an estimate? You can access our summer financial aid calculator by visiting the website financialaid.ucla.edu. It can be found under special aid programs, summer aid, calculate potential summer aid. This calculator is intended to provide an estimate based on UCLA summer session enrollment. So the loan and tuition amount will not represent your program's cost of attendance. This tool will only provide you with an estimate for grant eligibility only you will need to have a 2024-2025 financial aid application on file in order to use this calculator. And typically our calculator will become available towards the beginning of um, the year. So around January, you can expect to see the summer financial aid cal calculator become available. There's also a new tool that I'll just chime in here. This is Danielle from Travel Study. There's a new tool with our new application system for 2024 that will allow you to get a better sense of your full cost of attendance of your programs. So if you return to Teradata to your portal and review your overall summer package for the costs that are factored into your program, there's a calculator where you can add in the pieces. Maybe you already know, you have some family savings, You grandma's gonna help you out with your flight. So you can actually adjust up and down to kind of get a better sense of what your real need might look like in as a sort of estimate for you personally. Financially doesn't receive this information, it's just for your own personal reference, but it gives you a chance to say, what happens if I get a thousand dollar scholarship if I apply for this, or if I find a way to have others help me fund uh, through gifts or holiday giving, maybe you collect some funds or you've been saving up, it allows you to, to take that into account. So you can kind of get a real sense earlier on what you might need to be looking for. And that should help you get a sense of, do I really need to take out those loans if I am able to save more? It's a great pre-planning tool. So just want to call your attention to that since it's another new way to factor in uh, the total cost for especially travel study and the global internship program. Perfect. Thank you, Danielle. That's going to be really helpful. <laughs> um, awesome. So definitely want to use both of those tools to kind of give you the best estimate on what you can expect for your summer program. And as always, um, if you have any questions regarding financial aid or how uh, your summer program is going to affect your financial aid, definitely reach out to us to have those questions answered. Here we have our QR code, which you can scan using your phone. And um, you can also contact us via message center using the link listed. And our website, financialaid.ucla has tons of helpful information, especially regarding study abroad programs and your steps. 
And with that, unless there's any other comments that anyone else wants to leave on the recording, we're going to turn it over now to more of your questions. Hopefully you've been putting things in the chat as we went along, but if you have additional questions, thinking of anything else with those last few Q&A items, feel free to go ahead and put those on the chat now. The video content is going to end here. So if you have to hop off and go somewhere else next, feel free to, to leave at this time. Um, but however, if you're watching this live on October 12th, uh, we will be here for about another five or so more minutes. So the recording will keep going with some silence here to pause for answering any final questions that you have. Thank you again for joining us today. If you're watching this after the fact and you have other questions, just remember you can go back to these resources to get some information and feel free to also contact the IEO office. Our general email is info at ieo.ucla.edu and we'll put that in the chat for you as well. Again, thank you again. Just a few more minutes here for your final questions.
about 30 seconds left if anyone is answering any final questions. Thank you for attending.